Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Separation of Substances. Question number 1. After preparing tea, the need to filter tea leaves from tea is Option A. To obtain tea. Option B. To add impurity. Option C. To remove impurities. Option D. To get two useful components. The correct answer is Option D. To get two useful components, tea leaves are unwanted substances in the tea. So they are filtered out. But after separating them, even the filtered leaves are used as manure. Question number 2. In churning milk, the need for churning out butter is to underscore. Option A. Obtain milk. Option B. Remove impurities. Option C. Add impurity. Option D. Get two useful components. The correct answer is. Option D. Get two useful components. Churning is the separation process to get useful components. In the process of churning out butter from milk, butter as well as milk is used for different purposes. Thus, we get two useful components after churning. Question number 3. In process of condensation, heat energy is underscored by the molecules. Option A. Absorbed. Option B. Released. Option C. Absorbed as well as released. Option D. Neither absorbed nor released. The correct answer is Option B. Released. The process of conversion of vapor slash gas into liquid is known as condensation. For example, conversion of water vapor to water liquid. Water vapor molecules lose some energy as heat when subjected to cold conditions and convert into water liquid. Question number 4. Hand picking stones from rice is a process of underscore. Option A. Adulteration. Option B. Filtering. Option C. Separation. Option D. Mixing. The correct answer is Option C. Separation. Hand picking stones from rice separates these two components. Thus, it is a process of separation. Hand picking is useful in separating the components which have difference in appearance in terms of shape, size, color, etc. For example, at our homes, stones are separated from food items such as rice and lentils. Question number 5. Which technique involves throwing the mixture into the air so that the wind blows away the lighter chaff, while the heavier grains fall back down for recovery? Option A. Threshing. Option B. Sieving. Option C. Hand picking. Option D. Winnowing. The correct answer is Option D. Winnowing. In winnowing. The mixture is tilted slowly from some height. Thus, the heavier element slides down while the lighter element is flown out by the action of wind. Question number 6. The husk can be removed from flour by the process of Option A. Threshing. Option B. Sieving. Option C. Hand picking. Option D. Winnowing. The correct answer is Option B. Sieving. Fine particles are separated from the bigger particles by using a sieve. Since flour is in powdered form and husk are solid particles, so sieving is used to separate them. Question number 7. Oil can be separated from water by Option A. Filtration. Option B. Decantation. Option C. Both sedimentation and decantation. Option D. Sedimentation. The correct answer is. Option B. 
Decantation. Decantation is a process to separate a mixture of solid and liquid or two immiscible liquids by application of gravity. Oil is much less dense than water. It floats above the surface of water. Thus, these can be separated by decantation easily. Question number 8. When we heat a solution, it can dissolve more amount of a substance in it. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Heating the solution increases the solubility of solute in it. In other words, on heating more amount of a substance can be dissolved in the same solution. For example, more amount of sugar can be dissolved in hot water as compared to water at room temperature. Question number 9. Separation is only done to filter out unwanted substances. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. Separation is done to remove unwanted substances to get useful substances to remove impurities. Hence, the given statement is false. Question number 10. The method of separating seeds of paddy from its stalks is called as underscore. Option A. Decantation. Option B. Winnowing. Option C. Threshing. Option D. Sieving. The correct answer is Option C. Threshing. The method of separating grains from stalks is called threshing. In this method, dry stalks are beaten to shake off the dried grains. It can be done by hand, by cattle, or by using machines. Question number 11. Which process is used for separating particles of different sizes? Option A. Decantation. Option B. Sieving. Option C. Sedimentation. Option D. Distillation. The correct answer is Option B. Sieving. In sieving, the difference in size of the particles is used to separate the constituents' parts. A sieve of suitable hole size is used. It allows only smaller particles to pass through. The larger cost particles remain in the sieve. Sedimentation is a method of separation based on weight and insolubility of a substance in a liquid mixture. The insoluble heavy particles settle at the bottom of the tank when it is left still for a long time. Question number 12. What type of a substance is steel? Option A. A solid, liquid heterogeneous mixture. Option B. A solid. Solid heterogeneous mixture. Option C. A solid, solid homogeneous mixture. Option D. A pure substance. The correct answer is Option C. A solid, solid homogeneous mixture. Steel is the most common metal alloy in the world. In its simplest form, it consists of iron and varying amounts of carbon and both of them are solids. Homogeneous mixtures refers to compositions that are the same throughout. Hence, it is a homogeneous mixture of solids as steel is uniform in its composition. Question number 13. The mixture of dry leaves and sand can be separated using threshing. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. In threshing, the mixture is beaten in order to separate, but this principle cannot be applied here. Dried leaves are very light in weight and can be easily flown out by air. So, they can be easily separated from the sand by winnowing. Question number 14. A mixture of powdered salt and sugar can be separated by the process of winnowing. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. 
Winnowing can be used for separation only in the case when the difference in mass of two substances is high. For example, husk and grains and not for sugar and powdered salt. Sugar and powdered salt can be separated by sieving due to difference in size of crystals. Question number 15. Decantation is the process used to separate two miscible liquids. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option B. False. Decantation is a process for the separation of a solid liquid mixture or a mixture of immiscible liquids. When a mixture of two immiscible liquids is left for some time in a tank, two separate layers are formed. The layer on top is gently poured into another container and the two liquids are obtained. For example, a mixture of oil and water can be separated using decantation. Question number 16. More amount of solute can be dissolved in the solvent on heating the solution. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option A. True. Solubility increases on heating the solution. This means, more solute can be added to the solution on increasing the temperature. Question number 17. X is a separation technique based on the difference in weights of the solids in a solid, solid mixture. What is X? Option A. Sieving. Option B. Hand picking. Option C. Winnowing. Option D. Threshing. The correct answer is. Option C. Winnowing. In winnowing. Lightweight impurities are separated from relatively heavier substances. For example, husk is separated from wheat. It is done by throwing the mixture into the air so that the wind blows away the lighter impurities, while the heavier grains fall back down for recovery. Question number 18 Sand and gravel can be separated from each other by underscore. Option A Filter funnel. Option B Sieve. Option C. Evaporating Basin. Option D. Decanter. The correct answer is. Option B. Sieve. Sieves are used to separate gravel from sand. Sieving is a simple technique for separating particles of different sizes. Depending upon the types of particles to be separated, sieves with different sizes of holes are used. Question number 19. Name the process in which the butter is separated from cream. Option A. Heating. Option B. Churning. Option C. Sieving. Option D. Filtration. The correct answer is. Option B. Churning. The process in which the whole milk or cream is shaken with the help of the machine in order to produce butter is known as churning. Butter is taken out by churning of milk or curd. Question number 20. Identify the method by which chalk and water or even clay and water can be separated. Option A. Filtration. Option B. Evaporation. Option C. Threshing. Option D. Winnowing. The correct answer is Option A. Filtration. The given mixtures are heterogeneous solid liquid mixtures. The chalk or sand is insoluble in water and will be suspended in the mixture. These insoluble solid particles can be separated from water by filtration. Chalk powder and water mixture on filtration leave the chalk powder on the filter paper while the water passes through it. Hence, the mixture gets separated into its components. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.